and said that it felt, even though it was, you know, because getting a breakfast gig in radio is, that you can't, it's such an amazing thing to get. And again, we were so poor. Yeah. I mean, we were so broke, you know. I was working for weeks at a time and then nothing again for a, a month or, yeah, you know. Um, so you would have had a, a great wage come in, but you had to move back to Brisbane, yeah. which felt a little bit like a step backwards to you. It felt like a massive step backwards. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Right. It was, And I never got over it. I was there for mm. seven years and I never... Was it seven years? Yeah. And I said to Adrian, I felt more successful in a flat in St Kilda with the mm. phone cut off than I could ever feel in Brisbane. Really? Yeah. Is that because of the t- you're very open saying that team was very dysfunctional that you went into? Yeah. Do but you think that's why or because it was going back to home? Yeah, I think the dysfunction that I injected into that team was that I didn't want to be there. Right. I just felt like I'd invested so much in getting to Melbourne and creating a life for myself and breaking into the actual entertainment industry mm. and the comedy industry and and there I was back where I started. But Brisbane's a big market. Yeah, it is. Um, but I don't care. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it just didn't feel I mean, right. And you know what? Melbourne's not the biggest market in the country. No, but it feels like for home For some now. reason, yeah, for me, mm. it's the, the creative community that I love being a part of. Yeah. And um, but there's no room for that in Brisbane. In Brisbane, you either love it or fuck off. Yeah, right, know? right, so right. So that was really hard too. There was no scope for me to, you know, there was a lot of resentment around the fact that I didn't love being there. Yeah, okay. With other people. And because you, you know, also when you do breakfast radio. You, you, you can go a bit loopy because the hours are so it's intense. It. You're not your best you. You're not. You're the most vulnerable, broken down version of yourself, I think. Yeah, and if true. you don't love it, it's rough. Yeah. Yeah. And if you're having, you know, real fights with people. Yeah. Real, real, real discord and real dislike and real uh, bullying and all that stuff. Um now, looking back, I don't know how I really survived it, but... Do you it, look back now and go, I can't believe I put up with that? Because do you feel like you're a different person than that was doing Brisbane radio? Yeah, I'm, no, but I feel like I'm a big part of the person I am now because of it. Right. Because I had to find a way to cope with it in the end. Mm. Because I lost hope that I was going to get out of there. The whole reason I was there was to get a great job in Melbourne. Yeah. And for years, I felt every day like, that's the purpose, that's the purpose, just keep going, yeah. just keep believing. But then I'd get to a point where I'd stop believing, mm. you know. Um, and so what I had to do was find ways to actually cope. Instead of living in the future, yeah. I had to find ways to cope, to cope with the now. Yeah. And there's still the ways that I use now.